Hello? Is anybody out there? I'm all alone. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to some more Stranded Deep. Uh, for those of you that have been with the channel for quite some time, you will know that this is actually one of the first games I played on the channel. And uh, this is actually a bit of a rough start. I started getting the intro all set up there, and I uh, had a little shark buddy there. Uh, I've been following this game for a couple of years now, and I've been watching this game change a lot. And I'm actually quite impressed at where they come. As you can tell, it's a very beautiful game. And it's one of those games that make you want to clean your monitor, which I probably should do. That's better. Oh, what do you know? There's a boat there. I'm kidding. I hear some footsteps behind me. Uh, no. Uh, but yeah, this game has changed quite a bit. I've watched it change a few times over the years, and uh, uh, one of the biggest changes, that, which is why I'm actually playing it right now, is there's an end game again. Um, back in the day, I think it was you survived till day 80, and then you used the flare gun, or you set up a smoker on top of a platform or something. And there would be a plane that would go over, and uh, if you had it timed out right, the plane would actually supposedly rescue you. I think it was just it was one of those uh, fade to black situations. Uh, but they have returned the end game into it. Uh, they have also adjusted the map again. Uh, back when I first started playing it, it was a uh, basically it was an endless procedural map, and you could get lost. Like you could go go sailing in one direction, get lost, and you never find your way home. Uh, and then they ended up changing it to 25 islands, and it was basically like a 5x5 five five grid. Uh, let's do some looting and some scavenging while we're at it. I'm just going to pay attention because uh, there's a new thing that they've added just recently too. Uh, but yeah, so they ended up going back into a larger world. Uh, it is procedurally generated, but it's not endless. So there is going to be... Uh, originally it was like 25 islands, and now there is between 50 and 60 islands, but they're not in a grid anymore, they're actually random. So if you actually look around, you can see there's a, an island over there, there's a ship over there, there's another island over there. I don't know if you can see it, I can see it because I clean my monitor. Another one over there, all different all different uh, distances and stuff. Uh, a few other things they've done is uh, status effects, I think some, the SPF I don't think was here before. And now we have skills, which I think I had in the last time I was playing. And then status effects here. Uh, there's also new, new different types of creatures too. There's uh, giant crabs we've got to watch out for too. Um, what else was there? Hang on a sec. I can't remember where I was going with that. But yeah, there's a lot of things that they changed since uh, originally when I began. Before when I first started playing, it was basically it was scavenge only. It didn't have things like uh, um, like the the mining nodes or well, they had other stuff too. Uh, the ships, but not as many as they do now. Uh, but yeah, as far as the end game scenario, no, now it's not waiting for a ship to go by. Somewhere out there, amongst these islands, there is. I've already seen it. It's actually basically a crashed aircraft carrier. Uh, and on that aircraft carrier, you will find some sort of plane or something. I think it was. I think it was a small little Cessna type plane or something that you got to repair, and you can actually use that to escape. I have no idea where that is, but uh, we'll find it eventually. Uh, there is also big bosses too, and I haven't fought any of them yet, but I definitely want to do that. So uh, I'm going to look around here and see what I can find, and we'll go uh, investigate these ships maybe, and see what kind of loot we can find. So I'll be right back. Oh, it's good to see those floating rocks again, isn't it? Mm, love it. Okay, I looked around, and it wasn't too much here. There's a uh, Lots of stuff to cut down in here. Uh, there's also a stone mine node here. I believe that these do respawn after a few days. Uh, one of the newest features in the game too, which we're going to do eventually. I might even tell you what it is, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you haven't already known about it. Uh, where are you? Our lunch. The crabbies, wherever they are. I don't know where they are. Uh, there's giant crabs now, and apparently the, the giant crabs actually respawn. So that's why I wanted to look around the island to make sure there wasn't one on here. Uh, do I have... Oh, I thought there was a toggle sprint. 
Uh, yeah, so definitely gonna watch out for that. And uh, apparently the warthogs will actually attack you now, so gotta watch out for that. But let's let's go check this one out. This one's already beached. See what we can find inside here. And the chest up top. That's always good. And oh, I can get in. I'm an athlete. What's in there? Flashlight and a flare gun. Uh, two flashlights and a flare gun. Yay. Come on, put that away. And what do we have in here? Wow. Aggressive. Ooh, binoculars. And what do we have in here? Sardines. Variable maker. Ooh, we can go fishing too. So, let's actually have a look and see what we can see out here. It's actually cool. I think in, in the beginning it was just like a single sp spyglass. It's always cool I'm getting getting little things like this. You don't really think about how good it is to get something like that. Even a compass, but uh, the compass might not be very useful now because of the fact that the islands are kind of scattered now. All right. Well, anyways, uh, what do I have here? Let's drop this down. Oops. Hang on. Okay, so it turns out it's getting a little hot. I uh, got a little bit of sunstroke there. I had to go jump in the water for a little bit. Seems to be okay for now. Uh, so I cleared out my inventory, dumped off a bunch of stuff. And I think we're going to go check these other ships out while we can before we get it started. Because uh, I'm going to need a place to store stuff. Uh, should we go for that one or go over here? I was going to say let's be brave, but maybe I should say let's be stupid. Hello, Krabby. Be seeing your papa soon. Okay. No sharks. No sharks. What do we got in here? Oh, I think I hear somebody. And. Oh, this is one of those ones that's underneath. I don't like that. Okay, uh. Let's see if we can make it over here. Probably gonna be a stupid idea. Not probably, it is gonna be. Oh, there it comes. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I actually feel kind of nervous in here. I wonder why. Uh, I don't think. Oh, jeez. That legitimately scared me. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, duct tape, engine part. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, this is uh, kind of sketchy in here. As long as the shark doesn't swim through and eat me, I'll be happy. Ooh. Uh, take that. Uh, there we go. E. Okay, let's, let's get up to dry land here. Oh, that's actually a relief, believe it or not. Can we go outside? Ooh, we can. Let's see what we have out here. Ooh, we got lots of buoy balls. We're gonna be making a big raft eventually. What else we got in here? Oh wow, we can go all the way up to the top, yeah? No. The shame. That's cool. That's actually what I like doing is exploring some of these ships sometimes. Seeing what you can find and just look at what years of being underwater can do. Ooh. Leather, lashings, compass. Now I'm out of inventory space. Ooh, lantern. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just drop you. Let's see what I can stuff in here. Uh, get that. Take that lighter out of it. Uh, lamp out of there because I already have two at home. Uh, what else can I put in here? Inventory management. I can't put anything in here. What else can I do? On me, nothing. And take that. And do I have room? Uh, yeah, I do. All right, take that. And I don't think there's anything else in here we can loot or even carry with us. And it's getting dark too. And I gotta start worrying about water. Go cut up some coconuts and all the good stuff. And I think uh, I think we're gonna go out this way. Might be a little safer. Maybe. Whoa. Okay. Uh, did I mention this is early access? Okay. Let's out swim the shark. I don't want to be lunch. Not today, anyways. I'm going to watch out for those purple starfish, too. 
those things will poison me and I don't have anything ready to actually make any medicine. So, uh, what we got to do is, first order of business is, uh, we got to make a campfire. Uh, no, we don't want to do that, we want to do this. Alright, so what do I need for a campfire here? I was going to make a shelter too, okay, so I need palm fronds and that, so which means we got to make some tools, because I was too busy uh, exploring instead of getting my, uh, my beep together. Alright, so, made rocks. Uh, I need inventory space. Uh, we'll drop this. And we can actually drop this. We can turn that on. Nope. We can uh, turn that on. Let's just drop it. Alright. Let me go grab some rocks. I just had a vision of rust and I never even actually played the game. I remember that game. You start running around and I think the first thing you have is a rock and it's your only tool. Okay, get a few more here. And I gotta cut down a tree and all that stuff, so, um, yeah, let me... This game is so scenic. Uh, let me get a shelter uh, put together and sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, this has actually changed too. Uh, I was having trouble figuring out how to make, get a fire going. Uh, I had to make the fire, and I forgot I gotta make the kindling, and now they changed it. You actually have to alternate the left and right mouse button to actually, you know, start the fire. And make fire! Yeah. And, uh, skills have gone up. Uh, my gathering has gone up, because I was cutting down ficus, and, uh, another one there, that thing about, thing about barber. Yeah, and, uh, I don't know what the other one is there for, the second to bottom there. But anyways, uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you that. I do have to get some crafting going here. I uh, have to get some water. Anyway, uh, not for rambling. And good morning, our first sun sunrise. And like I said, the view's always good. So yeah, I was uh, having some issues. I was trying to figure, uh, trying to craft an axe, and uh, let me hit the right button here, uh, bring up the crafting menu. So I was trying to make a crude axe, and it was level one, and I wasn't actually level one. And the reason why I wanted to make a crude axe is I could cut down a palm tree so I could get the palm fronds to actually make a shelter. Uh, it took a lot of hits to cut this thing down with this little stone tool I got here, and then cut the top off and do that and all that stuff. So yeah, that was that, but now I actually have enough, and uh, I actually made the lashing already, so it's make a crude axe. But now we can actually cut down a tree if I remember to hit the right buttons. That's what happens when you don't play a game for a long time. Uh, at least I can start cutting down wood a little bit better. Okay, so I was going to end this a little early, but it seems we still have some time. So we must go uh, do some exploring. Maybe we'll go check see what's over there. Or actually, you know what? We should get a raft going because I actually have enough to get, make this sail. Do I even have a crafting level for it? Uh, where is that going to be? We've got all these stations here too. That's one of the... One of the most, well, not the most recent additions, but one of the things we have done. Oh yes, that's right, up here. Uh, building vehicles. Okay, so what do we need for sale? Uh, what is that? That's for the gyrocopter. This is, oh yeah, for the raft. Do we have the sail? We do. And I need a cloth. I actually have enough for this. Ooh. Let's make, let's make ourselves a raft, shall we? Alright, what do I need? I need sticks and lashings. Uh, I do have lashings. That's actually... Uh, let's put that away. I think I had room in here. No, I don't. Now I do. And where was the other one? Uh, put it up here somewhere. Maybe we'll eat that. It's only been sitting under the o in the ocean for God knows how many years. It should still be good. Now, what did I do with my sardines? There they are. Just right through the tin. Gotta, gotta get that iron, right? Alright, what was I doing? I was... Making a raft. And I just happen to have all these sticks here, too. Uh, did I have any more lashings? No, I don't. I think... Yeah, it was a yucca, by the way. That was the name I was trying to find. But uh, I noticed we have a couple of them on this island, too. We got one there. We got... Uh, got one over here, for sure. I think we might have a third somewhere. So... A couple of good old whacks. I like how it bounces like that. And that's one of the things I like about this game is the fact that you can actually craft with stuff on the ground. You don't actually have to have it in your inventory. So you can have a big pile of stuff and just do some uh, queue up your crafting and take care of it.
All right, so there's that one. And did I have another one here? Fortunately, those things grow back. I don't think I do, do I? Hello, Yuka. Do I see a Yuka anywhere? No, I don't. Oh, how to walk. But we do have palm saplings, so that's just as good. And, and that's actually one thing I wish they kind of ha did was uh, if you let the palm saplings stay, if they eventually growed, grew into uh, palm trees. All right. Let us get ourselves a little raft set up here. I love how the sticks just stack like that. Alright, so we go into crafting menu. That's C, not V. We've survived one day. Not much to break about, I know. Alright, vehicles. What kind of raft can I make? Ooh, I should get those buoy balls. Is that 14 sticks? you got to be kidding me. Uh, where were those buoy balls? They were over here on this ship, weren't they? No, they were on the big one. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's use up all this wood. It's not like we're not going to find any more islands. I got 60 islands to strip down for resources. Alright, can I actually build this thing now? Uh, I can. Hammer. Did I not have a hammer, or is that... I think that was a different playthrough. Let's drop that for now. Fortunately, things don't despawn in this game. Where was that crate? Uh, I didn't have a hammer. Can I make a hammer? Uh, let's see here. A couple of rocks. Only what's that? Oh, never mind. I have a crude hammer now. And now we run back over here to make our crude raft. That's going to be a conglomeration. Uh, yeah, we'll say conglomeration of all the, the debris I find on all these things. Actually, get back here. Uh, okay, now I gotta get a floor on there. And what do we have for floors here? Well, I can't make clay. Uh, really don't want to use the planks. So we're going to use more sticks. I don't have enough sticks. Got to have more sticks somewhere. If I were a stick, where would I be? Laying on the ground. Or part of a raft. Oh, level 2. What? You can build a raft at level 1, but you need level 2 to actually make the floor for it. Boo. Alright, fine. We won't be doing that. Let's go risk our life. Our life. Drop that. We'll drop this. What else can I drop? Drop all the valuable stuff. Oh, the best thing is, if I do happen to die, at least I get to reset my stats. Always a fun part about it. It's scary as hell, but it's always fun. In fact, let's be smart about this. Let's take you. There you go. Let's Climb inside, sound like I'm dying along the way. And I paddle away. I absolutely hate this thing because it's so hard to control. Is there a box in there? No. Oh no. This could prove quite interesting. Oh, there's a box over there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's time to go back to shore. I can hear the wind. I don't know if you can. This is going to be one hell of a storm. Oh god, this thing is slow. Here come the waves. Well, this is a good way to end the episode, huh? Storm on the first day. Just my luck. Yeah, let's get out of there. Uh, ah, stupid crabs. Let's run. Let's get out of here. Don't have a shelter. So much for my tropical paradise, huh? Alright, well, now I think it's a good time to call it because these storms can last a little while. So, uh, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Maybe I should not be holding that.